In terms of how companies are using LinkedIn to recruit talent, we know that 85 of the Fortune 100 companies use them, but really companies of any size are LinkedIn clients these days and are using LinkedIn effectively to source talent. So essentially, LinkedIn provides a giant resume database and employers have the means to cull through and mine through those profiles based on a number of specific search criteria. Every word on your LinkedIn profile is indexable and searchable. So for LinkedIn users, that's great to be able to think about crafting their profile and using keywords. But for a employer, they're able to very specifically pinpoint um, profiles based on their search criteria and come up with a number of possible candidates. And also, employers are telling us that they are using LinkedIn to vet the resumes they receive for different job applications. So oftentimes, uh, an employer will get a job application and then they will look at the LinkedIn profile as well to maybe vet, make sure the content is the same, but also to get additional details that can't be found in a resume. So we know that our employers and recruiters in general find LinkedIn to be a very effective hiring tool. When I'm advising students to create their LinkedIn profile, first of all, they must meet LinkedIn's terms for having a complete profile. So there's a number of criteria that LinkedIn wants you to fill out and they guide you through that on the site. Secondly, I advise them to write a summary statement. Not a lot of our current students have summary statements, so it's an opportunity to craft um, with, you know, and make very keyword rich a summary that explicitly tells uh, anybody who they are, what they're good at, and how they could contribute to their next job opportunity. And we know the summary uh, is, a, is a great place to add a lot of keywords that recruiters might be looking for. And then next, I advise that they customize their URL. They can then uh, add that URL to their email signature line, and it's a nice subtle way of encouraging people to click on to their LinkedIn profile and find out more about them. For students who want to use LinkedIn strategically to network, they should join groups. The MIT Sloan Alumni Group has 8,000 people. When you are in a group with people with shared interests or values, you can often ask them to help you as you network. Uh, you can get inside access to trends or articles, uh, possibly job postings. Also, LinkedIn has an alumni tool, which is really fantastic. You can slice and dice people who went to a particular school by where they live, where they work, uh, what they do, or by a keyword even. So it's a really powerful way to expand your network to see what people are doing um, that, that might be in industries that, that you're looking to get into. We're always saying in the CDO to build your network before you need it. So you don't want to do just-in-time networking with LinkedIn. You want to be really strategic in how you use it. Make sure you establish strong connections, people that you know and trust. Make sure that you're helpful to others. And uh, if you do that, LinkedIn is an excellent platform that can help you engage with and really harness the power of your professional network.